Nobody likes being alone, not even atoms. Watch how they become best friends in the weirdest ways. See, atoms are basically drama queens. They're never happy unless their outer shell has exactly eight electrons. So they've got three crazy friendship strategies. Strategy number one, the generous friend. Meet Sodium. He's got 11 electrons, but only needs eight in his outer shell. So he's like, you know what? Take my extra electron. I don't need it. And Chlorine's over here like, oh my gosh, thank you. I was literally one electron short of happiness. Now Sodium becomes positive and Chlorine becomes negative and opposites attract like crazy. That's ionic bonding. It's like that friend who gives you their lunch money and your friends forever. Strategy number two, the sharing is caring friend. These hydrogen atoms are like, let's go 50-50 on everything. Instead of giving electrons away, they're like, your electron can hang at my place and mine can chill at yours. Oxygen joins the friend group and they all share electrons. It's like having a group chat where everyone shares their snacks. That's covalent bonding, when atoms become roommates and split the rent on electrons. But wait, there's strategy number three, the overly generous friend. Sometimes one atom has extra electrons to spare. Ammonia's like, oh, you poor hydrogen ion, you have no electrons? Here, take both of mine. This creates a coordinate bond. It's like that friend who not only shares their food, but literally feeds you with their own spoon. One friend provides both electrons for the relationship. So remember, ionic equals, here, take mine. Covalent equals, let's share. Coordinate equals, I'll give you both of mine. It's like three different friendship styles, the giver, the sharer, and the ultimate wingman. Which type of friend are you? Team giver, team sharer, or team wingman? Drop it in the comments and follow for chemistry that actually makes sense.